Hello, my name is Samuel and welcome back to SMS Weekly. And yeah, the facial hair is gone. Thank f Anyway, so welcome to my very first and last Samuel Tries video. So basically what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna write an entire paragraph with my left hand. I always tell my friends I'm ambidextrous. Basically, I do most of the stuff with my left, some of the stuff with my right, some with both. Basically, I'm comfortable with either hand, except in writing, where I have bright dominant left side, I'm not really that good. I mean, I haven't written with my left since like preschool, so yeah, it's gonna be tough. So the process I'm gonna go with is I'm gonna go into my PC and I'm gonna pick out a document and I'll try to pick out a paragraph and I'm, I'll attempt to write it with my right hand and I'll attempt to write this same paragraph with my left hand. And the order and sequence of this video will go according to this. So you can skip the video and check the part that you want to. I'll also put it in the description box as well as the pinned comment so you can directly skip and skip this absolute bullshit. And oh yeah, before we do, I forgot to mention, don't forget to hit the like button, click subscribe if you're new here and you want to see more videos, more factual videos, I'll put a link to my quarantine stuff up there, I think it's that side. And yeah, we'll get right into it, finally. So basically, this is the research paper that I did back in semester two of my foundation year back in college. So I'm looking to take a paragraph of this and I'm thinking of introduction because it's quite short, concise, and although it's just half a page when I'm typing, it will go up to like a cl close to a page when I write because of the concise nature during typing and my handwriting is a bit big. So yeah, situation, it's a bit long, it's a bit time consuming. That's why I don't want to do situation. And you, you will bore out by the time it goes. So I don't really want to do it. Problems, again, a bit too long. Solution, again, the same length. Evaluation is probably one and a half times the length of the other two. Conclusions is too short. It won't give out the full details, so I don't want to do it. So I'm actually going to look at introduction. And I'm just going to get grab the papers real quick. And for this video, I'm actually going to be using papers with lines. Because, um yeah so i'm not gonna have this camera angle because well the pc is open i can't really do this angle so i'm gonna set an angle right there it'll probably be there and i'll get another angle there so that you can see me writing so ciao So the first thing I want to address here is the way I hold the pen. It is nowhere near how a typical person will hold the pen. The grip, the way I grip the pen is actually quite different. There is a story behind it. So basically when I was in middle school and primary school, I used to have really bad handwriting. And that is something to do with the way I grip the pen because I didn't have enough control with the way a typical person holds the pen so what i did during the back end of middle school and the start of high school is change the grip try to grip it that way that way i have more control of the pen yes it did reduce the speed a little bit but in turn i get the neat handwriting that i wanted so it was a fair trade-off another thing that i want to address here is the pen itself there is a crack at the bottom of the pen like a really small crack which means the like the tip is unstable which means i can't write consistently and you will see within the first two lines when I compare the two writings later like the first two lines were a bit off but after that I got the hang of it and I started writing neatly and a bit more consistency in it and yeah this is typical nothing new with my right but I have to change the pen when I start to write with my left it was a bit longer than I thought it took about seven minutes to write so yeah that was okay I guess but yeah, let's just wrap off the right side and move on to the left. So the main difference I found between the left hand and the right hand, and you can just say this is the only reason as well why the two are so different, is the way I grip the pen. With the right, I have been instilled since a young age on how to grip the pen, how to write words, how to control and compose the words. So I have been trained for over a decade. So I could just put on a blindfold and I would still produce a really, 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 really good result. Meanwhile, I haven't written with my left hand 
since like preschool or something so yeah the grip was utter shit. the words were utter shit. the whole process was utter shit. like genuinely i don't think you can notice within the video because it's sped up like 3967 times but i actually tried three different grips for three consecutive words within the clip none of them turned out great so yeah i don't know why i did this challenge but i'm kind of dead inside after that like the realization of the challenge i set myself to do hits me within the middle of the left hand like it just took about one sentence and i just realized oh f what did i get myself to do like i should have just chosen conclusion and be done with it instead i had to choose the longer paragraph like imagine if i had chosen situation or, con or evaluation though like it would be so long i would actually jump off the window that is right next to me like the perfect suicide plan is right next to me so thank god i didn't chose any other thing rather than introduction so yeah though that is basically it i guess and stay tuned for the comparison between the two and do you like this new double angle thing because if i ever decide to do a new challenge which won't be in the near future because I need a really long time to prepare this. Let me know because I would, if you have a new challenge idea that you want me to do, let me know. But make sure it isn't really that costly or that time consuming because this week my university is closed so I can do whatever the F I want. So that is why I decided to do this video. And another thing that I want you to know, tell me is do you like this commentary sort of thing? Because this is basically, I didn't talk you through it. I just shot the thing without audio and then put the audio post credit so do you like this format or do you want me to talk you through while writing the whole thing or just while doing the challenge i uh, basically i just prefer this so that i can just focus on the challenge and i can actually talk after the challenge and i can just say like after the whole thing what i think about it and yeah i thought i thought it would be more meaningful Yes, the editing process will take a lot longer because now I have to compile these two to merge together and then I have to put it into the main clip. But I guess it's worth like the extra couple of hours you have to put to actually get this spot on. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Now, let's get right into the comparisons. So this is pretty much the writing with my right hand it, it looked pretty good pretty neat pretty consistent the pen was a bit unstable so these this part is a bit unstable but apart from that really good and yeah this is probably my original handwriting meanwhile this has the grace and consistency of a dead pigeon genuinely speaking like it's it's fucking rubbish like i i'm presenting this as my work i'm ashamed to genuinely speaking i don't know how i come up with this the best two words are these two words like apart after this line it's genuine shit show like okay you can read a word or two from here like well result in the never mind pretty much Given that this is my left hand, I guess I could let it go a bit. I could give this like a 6 out of 10, a 5 out of 10. Definitely not more than average. This one, 10 out of 10. Comparison, don't even compare. Like, look at the neat, like, forget the handwriting for a moment. The neatness, like, like the consistency in the size of the words are just too different, like. Genuinely speaking, I don't think I can call myself ambidextrous after this. So yeah. Do give it a like by the way. One like equals one prayer for this show. So that was an adventure, wasn't it? Like like I kind of enjoyed making it because it was kind of a challenge. But at the same time, when I was writing with my left hand, I started to feel dead inside. So that wasn't all good, was it? But yeah, comment down what you think about the challenge and if you want to write with your weaker hand, which you should never do by the way. But if you decide to do, if 
Don't feel free to send me. I'm pretty sure no one won't, but oh well. So yeah, give this video a like, subscribe, comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you next week. Until then, take care, stay at home, stay safe, and peace.